been through mad different phases, like mazes, to find my way. And now I know that happy days are not far away. If I'm strong enough, I'll live long enough to see my kids. Doing something more constructive with my time. Bids. R.I.P.X. Man, you already know what it is. Jay Williams does the life, and We're back. Jay Williams, I'm living like, I'm still having trouble with that. We're going to work on that. Want to give y'all some updates as well as some kickings into this whole scenario, this whole situation, what's going on. If you just stumbled across my channel for the first time, this is my backup channel. This channel was created after my original channel, Jay Williams Lexus. Life was hurt. We're going to get into real soon, break down everything that happened. Not what people think, you know, it is. Everybody's got something to say. Everybody knows everything. When in reality, most of y'all don't know nothing. You have no clue as to what you're talking about. But I will tell you this, getting hacked can be as simple as opening an email. From an unfamiliar address. Your grandma sending you Christmas pictures. Download now. Click it. That way, grandma. I wasn't the only person to get hacked that day, that week, this year, this month. God knows how many people were. When I went to Twitter, I saw immediately how many people have been impacted. So as soon as I get my uploading rights back, which will be on the 22nd. Yes, I said it. Around 6 o'clock p.m. on the 22nd, I should be able to upload and post again to Jay Williams. Let's live life. We're going to go live. We're going to go over everything that happened. We'll get into it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to break it down. And I'm going to answer some questions. Say hi, Bella. Hi. Wave. Hi. You just watch it, baby girl. So, as I said, on the 22nd, my channel will be back. They are doing nothing. And when I tell you nothing, let me break down the definition of nothing. Nothing. Zip zero. Nada. Nothing about the strikes I got. The suspension. I've reached out. I've hit this person. I've, I've hit that person. I've come to realize that is not a person. Everything that has to do with YouTube or Google is a computer. There is not a human being on the other end of the line. Run, kitty cat. Don't run in front of the truck. So when I reach out and I tell them my channel was hacked, here's a confirmation email stating, yes, you were hacked, you were hijacked. I now have strikes. I'm suspended. I can't upload. Well, the automated response is, tap this link to recover your channel. I'm not trying to recover my channel. I'm trying to get the strikes removed from my channel trying to get this suspension lifted from my channel so that I can upload. Understand? Please tap this link if you think that your channel has been compromised and you need to recover your channel. So nothing will ever be done about the strike. Nothing will ever be done about the suspension. Nothing's going to be done. So you have to count your blessings in these situations. The blessing being that I got the channel back. A lot of people did not get their channels back. You do not know the definition of frustration until you have had to fight an invisible opponent and the people that are supposed to be on your side Google, YouTube, all those people that us content creators, you know, work for. When you realize that those people aren't people. When you realize that no cavalry is coming. When you realize that I've got to push this as far as I can push it. As hard as I can push it. Make it known. Let it hit every single ear out there. And that's the only way something's gonna happen. I had to go to Twitter. After doing some research, come to find out, going to Twitter is going to be your go-to. 
nothing else is going to work. So going to Twitter would ultimately be what got me back on track. Though that being said, riding out the suspension, I don't want to flood this channel with tons and tons of I got hacked, I got hacked, I got hacked. For now, this channel is just more along the lines of keeping you guys with the up to know, keeping you guys informed with all the things you should know and what's going to happen moving forward. I took all of the safety procedures serious. I had all the authenticators, all the two steps, McAfee, Jordan Virus, you name it, I had it. All the recovery emails, backup emails, backup phone numbers, I had it. It didn't mean anything. I'm sure somebody watching this right now just heard me say that and panicked. You have every right to panic. Because once they decide that you're their target, the war is on. It's a war that begins without you knowing. And by the time you find out, you're already on the losing end. I would find out the war had begun when I got a automated message, text message, SMS, stating your Gmail, your Google password has been changed. From there, I got nothing. At that moment there, the guy took over, they took over, it took over. And it turned off every other form of notification, changed every form of notification so that it would go to them, changed every password, recovery word, recovery email, phone number, every single thing I had put in place to protect myself was then changed to suit the guy that had control. And what could I do? Nothing. They even changed the Gmail. What could I do? Fight. As I did. Now the love feedback on this was 99.9% .9 positive. I don't care what you do in this world. There's always going to be somebody that hates. You know there is no YouTube video with 100% likes. I don't care if it's a, a child with cancer saying his goodbye to the world. Somebody said something negative, somebody put the thumbs down, and that's what happens with these scumbags out here in the world. With these people that can't get more, they show their true colors. And they do it by taking the time to create an email, a fake account, because we all know they're too much of us to actually do it face to face. I set up the second channel, this channel that you're watching right now, at which point somebody then went and made a channel that looked just like it. And because my new channel does not have a blue check mark beside it, it gave others the ability to go just say, hey, this is Jay Williams, I'm living life with the same channel name. Upload the videos. And then they threw their little rusty, dusty at Cash App right up in the title trying to get some money because these are the type of dudes that if you gave them a job they still wouldn't know how to get money if you gave them a hundred million dollars right now and six months from now they'd have nothing to show for it but ashes holes in their jeans and burn marks on their lips these are not good people we're talking about by no means these are the the scum of the world these are the men and the women in this world that don't have the backbone that is required to get out there and work for yours. A lot of people counted me out. Oh, Jay's broke. Oh, it's the end for Jay. Let's me know we're not the same. Instantly, that lets me know the person who commented that and me, myself, are not the same. One of the first things you're taught come into the game is you keep something put away for a rainy day. Keep some cash on hand in case something ever happens. 
There was a reason I did not take any cash app donations. There was a reason I wasn't going to capitalize on this and start taking money from others. And that was because I stayed true to some of the things I did pick up from the game that I agreed with. There's a lot that I don't agree with. There's a lot that I picked up on that I do. And one of those being, you should always have something put away just in case. Put all your eggs in one basket. Because what happens if somebody comes and steals all those eggs? You got no eggs. You got to spread things out. So I was smart enough to have separate accounts that were in no way linked. I was smart enough to keep stuff in other places that if I ever needed to reach out and go get it, I could go get it. And that's what I did. Christmas shopping, Christmas shopping. It's another day. When you make yourself and the world events, situations don't make you, but you get out there and make yourself become who you are, you put in the work to have more, it's not that easy. It's really not for someone else to come along and take it all. I'm not just going to take it all. Because time and time again, you've proven that go get it. You're a go-getter. You're a survivor. That's what the situation showed. When times get hard, make it happen. I turned up this week at work. I said, okay. We took a hit. We took a L. Time to maximize profits. What does maximize profits mean? That means to get the most money out of whatever it is that you're doing. With construction, that means you need to produce more now than you have ever produced in the past. Take on these jobs that you usually wouldn't take on. Yes, they have a big payday, but I ain't really got the time and I'm loyal to my investors. In these moments, you gotta step away from that and do what's best for yourself and those around you. So I took on large jobs, fast jobs, big jobs, dangerous jobs that had big payouts that could potentially lead to catastrophic, disastrous results if you don't know what you're doing. And I knocked those jobs out the ballpark, got them done. I maximized my profits. Salute to everybody that's been rocking, man. To anybody that unsubscribed, now is the time to get your back over there and hit that subscribe button. If you are just now coming up on this channel for the first time, or you're one of my old supporters, whatever the reason is that you are here, you miss solid, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, that share, follow, everything that makes this possible. As I've told you, this channel is going to be dedicated to taking the clips from the videos that some of y'all don't have the time to watch. 45 minute videos, 30 minute videos. The world doesn't always have 30, 45 minutes to watch. So I will be taking the videos that I post to Jay Williams Let's Live Life and I will be summarizing them videos, breaking them down, cutting a whole lot of the details and the backlog and the storytelling out, compressing them into a much shorter version, beginning, middle, end, boom, and it's over, and I will be uploading those videos to this channel, but to catch the full content, you have to jump over to Jay Williams, let's live life, if you do have the time, to follow me on this journey we call life, I will not lie, never will I lie to you, there's no point in lying to you, the fear that set in when all this first happened, is unexplainable. There's no way to even begin to try to explain to you the feeling of helplessness that comes along with something like this. The frustration that comes along with something like this. It will break you down to your knees when you have an enemy that you can't see and you don't know who is. That you're literally watching 
take over your life and something that you created with your hands. Something that you created with your heart and your soul and your mind and you put your everything into. It is a frustrating, demeaning, gut-wrenching feeling. I spent that first 24 hours just trying to take it in. I don't take defeat easily. But when you get to that level of frustration, Oh, the floodgates are going to open. The tears are going to begin. Because you're just so angry. You're so mad that all the things that you pay for. I pay for all these different services to keep me safe. Because they're not just offered free. The basic stuff is offered free. You really want to be safe. Oh, you got to pay. I paid all this money for all these different services. And they failed me. And when you reach out to them... It's nobody's fault. What it boils down to is, it's my fault. Maybe I had become complacent. Maybe I had started to put too much faith in people. When I opened that, that Canon catalog with those cameras, and it's just a standard thing that comes across as YouTubers with people sending you offers, advertise this, promote this. It's very, very normal. It's very, very common. It happens seven days a week, multiple times a week. I've actually reached out some of these sponsors, partnership programs, and talked to these people. Now I don't believe none of them. But I put too much faith in the, in the human race, and in doing that, I was the one that tried or attempted to download that catalog with those cameras that I was going to show everybody. And that would be how they got past my firewalls, all my security checks, because I accepted it. I said it was okay. I am the administrator. I pushed upload. I pushed download. Which then makes me responsible. And it brought us right to where we are at today. With the new channel. And the clock ticking on how long it's going to be until I can uh, so happily give you the story that I was going to give you that morning. I'd started a video that day. It was 10 something in the morning when I got that notification. And I was halfway through that day's video. The crazy extremes and things guys will do in order to get high in prison. I had talked about a dude that I seen go all the way gay just to feed a dope head. I talked about a dude that used to let people hit him, slap him, punch him, kick him in his all in the name of get that next fix. That video didn't get completed. Because before I could complete it, everything was taken over and there was nowhere to upload it to. Now instead, somebody put their little bait videos up, their scam videos up, with their attempts of defrauding and taking money from you guys, the viewers, the ones I love the most, man, outside of my family. So you will get that video, but first things first, I'm going to put out the step-by-step, -step, screenshots and all included, all exclusive, how I got hacked video with the timelines as well as the screenshots of everything being turned off, everything being changed and where it left me and the journey and trip I had to take to get it all back. This has made me a stronger person, a more humble man. It's made me look at things, made me look at people a whole lot different. I went against the grain on this one. I always tell y'all trust is to be earned, not given. The moment I hit upload and download, I trusted something I knew nothing about. Who could I blame for that? What me? Nobody. What me? I've been doing this long enough to know that a lot of people 
people pray on your downfall. A lot of people saw this and their hearts lit up. The joy that must have came through their hearts when they thought that I had failed. <laughs> it's comical to think about. Because now they have to sit here and realize that that moment of happiness with the hate that they had for me, that moment of thinking, that moment of thinking that I had lost it all would not be real. They say the things that don't kill you make you stronger. I am strong and way beyond humble. And I do want to say thank you to all the viewers that went to Twitter, that went to other accounts, that went crazy behind this, to the other content creators that made videos that had my back. Here's what a lot of y'all don't know. I talk to a lot of these guys behind the scenes. Give them advice with their channels, do's and don'ts. We speak behind the scenes. So for a lot of these guys, y'all saw them making videos and y'all thought it was clout. When not knowing we have a friendship behind the scenes. And I reached out to them and said, hey, keep the people safe. Let them know there's a new channel, but do not cash after me money. That was for you guys. So that you didn't send money to somebody that it didn't belong to you. So that you didn't send your hard-earned money to someone that had tricked you out of. These guys came together to help keep you guys safe and to help bring light to the new channel so that I could further guide you in the right direction and away from the lies, deception, the little tricks that these guys were trying to pull. Some people will never make it in life. Some people will never make it out of their parents' house. Some people will never make it out of living in their car or being homeless. Some people will never escape poverty. Some people will just never have more in life. And a lot of that's got to do with their laziness. A lot of that's got to do with what they have in their heart. And a lot of that's got to do with them blocking their own blessings. You can block your blessings by the energy you put out. And what's inside of here? And things that come out of here. I'm going to continue on with this journey, man. I'm going to continue to help people, guide people. That is what we do. Donate to the people that really need it. Y'all have no clue what I got going on, man. I'm going to take little Miss Bella in the house so she can get situated, run around and play with my son, go play with her toys. And then I'm going to go do some more shopping. Shopping for kids that aren't mine. Because that's what makes me who I am. I'm not just a guy that gets on here and makes videos. I'm not just a guy that gets on here and tries to see how much money he can get. I'm actually a guy that gets on here that even when I wasn't making money, that was giving back. That was helping other families. Men and women out here that truly needed help. Not people that were just too lazy to get it. I've been tricked by those times too. But by the people that truly need help. And that's what we're going to continue to do. I think you guys are, are like-minded and like-hearted when it comes to the things I do. And that's why we click the way we do. You already know what it is. This is Jay Williams. That's the life. It's all my real ones. And there are some real ones watching. Y'all still watching me? And y'all know how we do. Salute.